Welcome back guys, thanks for joining me for another beer review. Hope you're all well. Uh, we are looking at another one of them double IPAs that I picked up from Trembling Madness. Now it's from a brewery from Nottingham and I believe, if I remember rightly, I have had this beer's younger brother, if you like, or little brother. So the one we are looking at is a beer from Neon Raptor, uh, picked up from Trembling Madness. And this is a can of their Very Naughty Luggage double IPA. It's coming in at 8.2% in a 440ml can. And this cost me £6.25. It's just come out of the fridge. It is very well chilled. I like a double IPA very well chilled because they tend to be juicy numbers. Uh, yeah, I think I had their normal Naughty Luggage IPA. And if I remember rightly... If I remember rightly, and I'm certain I did have it, that's why I can I can think that I've had it before, is I was a little bit disappointed with it. So I'm hoping this is maybe going to be the one that I should have had, but I'm going to be having it now. So it's going in the standard white hag IPA glass that I normally use. So let's get it cracked open and see what we get. Oh, shut up, cat. Bloody hell. Every time I do a beer review, I end up feeding the cats because they end up being a pain in the ass. And the old girl, <laughs> uh, feeding too much, I don't think does her any good, but hey ho. So she's meowing now. But she has shut up, so that's a good thing. Right, beer in a glass. It's got to be said, I, I had the can upside down for a bit. So I was hoping it was going to mix up. And yeah, it's hazy but it hasn't got that thick, dense haziness that I was maybe hoping for. Doesn't necessarily mean it's gonna be a bad beer. I, I highly doubt it's gonna be a bad beer, but is it gonna be one that really sort of wows me? So in a glass, it's got very much, a, almost a squash-like look about it. Uh, it looks a bit dark on my side, lights on it that side, so it is, looking a bit paler but it is looking a little bit murky but quite sort of thinnish i'm gonna say we've got about a finger of a compact white head on top i'm not seeing any bubbles going up but it's a nice hazy number so there is a little bit left in the can i won't chuck that in yet but we'll give this a swirl and see what we get on the nose i'm not I, do you know what i don't even attempt to read half the stuff now on these cans because look at the bloody size of it and yes i keep saying i need to get my eyes tested and one day i will i'll probably get my eyes tested when it's too late probably when i'm in a coffin or something i don't know but yeah stop being morbid eh? <laughs> let's have a sniff the cap's come in now to stick her nose in there you can see honestly This doesn't have that big, full, punchy sort of aroma of a double IPA. It smells, for me, it just smells of an IPA. It's hoppy. It's kind of tropical. But other than that, it smells quite disappointing quite disappointing now like i say i was disappointed with the naughty luggage so it would be a shame if this one being a little bit more ballsy is disappointing there is a couple of big craters of yeast dropped in there and it's certainly hazed up more there's certainly a a big murkiness there and the cat's being a complete pain in the arse bless her so yeah we'll let that settle a little bit i'm going to show you the can once more, Neon Raptor, very naughty luggage, double IPA, 8.2%, £6.25 from Trembling Madness. Let's dive in, give it a taste. Uh, what I will show you quickly, I don't know if you can see, there's still some bits lurking around there, dropping down. Right, let's dive in, give it a go. Cheers, everyone. And yeah, if I'm honest, 
nothing wrong with the beer. Well, the beer is nice enough. The beer is nice enough, but again, another disappointing beer, if you like. Double IPA, Neon Raptor, big name in brewing, a big brewery. But for a double IPA, that for me, for a double IPA, that's way, way too light. 8.2%. I can't help but feel this. This feels like something that Brewdog have done in a sense that they've brewed big and thinned it down and just watered it down, if you like. But it almost, how can I put it? It almost feels like this has been watered down. It's an 8.2% beer. Don't get me wrong, the body is kind of nice. But I've had standard IPAs that have had much better bodies than that. So when you look at 8.2%, and I've probably had IPAs at 6% that have had better bodies than this, that makes this disappointing body-wise. Yes, it's nice. Yes, it's minimal carbonation. Yes, it's smooth. Yes, it's soft. But it's lacking in that body side for me. On the taste, again, even on the taste, it's not really punching you in the face. It's there. Don't get me wrong. The flavours are still there. It's a big beer. But it's lacking something. It really is lacking something. Pardon me. It's hoppy, tropical, pineapple, passion fruit, mango. It's very much tropical notes, which as big as they are, and they are big and they are kind of bold, but they feel like they're lacking as well. The body feels like it's lacking. Uh, the flavours, the body feels watered down. The flavours almost feel a little bit watered down. It's very disappointing. There is a bit of pine in there. There is also a little bit of dankness in there. But for £6.25, I'm going to say that's that really is disappointing, if I'm honest. Uh, that really is disappointing. Now, oh, it, it, yeah, it's a nice beer. It is a nice beer. But when you're paying this kind of money for something, you expect something bigger. If you're paying good money for a beer, you expect something bigger. Now, it's not Trembly Madness's fault for... Obviously, they would have bought it in at a certain price. They've got to have their mark up on it. But I have no doubt Neon Raptor are probably knocking this beer out six quid, maybe 650, even dearer. I don't think this beer warrants it because for me, what it, it, it it's just a strong beer as much as they might call it a double IPA in that, which is fair enough. The only the only resemblance to a double IPA for me is is the ABV in this. Now, I tell you what, this is. I've uploaded I've uploaded one. It's not been released yet, and it was a Verdant uh, and Dugs or Dukes from Sweden. Now, for me, that beer was very light, but that even that had more about it. That was only a 330ml can that cost me £4.25. So it's two quid less for literally a third less of the beer. Uh, for me, that that was much better. Even though it lacked in body, it made up for in flavour and other stuff. This one seems to be lacking a little bit sort of everywhere. Now, like I say, I'm 99% I'm certain I re reviewed the Naughty Luggage and I was disappointed with that. I'm disappointed with this one as well. You know, when I, when I, 
there is some great breweries banging out some big double IPA, double IPAs that are really sort of like doing something really decent with chewy bodies and big on bold flavors that are well worth six pounds six pound plus even because they do warrant it uh for instance the staggeringly good one you know i even started out low on theirs but that really did come good but when i look at this one from neon raptor that has cost me six pound 25 right Stonehouse, my local brewery that released a double IPA called Two Thongs, going back about three years ago now. I don't know if they're ever going to do it again. They need to because it was a belter. Right, 500 mil bottle. And that cost me at the time £2 for the bottle, a 500 mil bottle. Yes, granted, it was 7%, but it beat the arse off this beer. It really did beat the arse off it. Now, I bought it as a 12 pack, so that's why I got it for two quid. I think it was 250 to take away as a single bottle. If you sat inside, it was about three quid, as you do get when you sit inside places. But my point of all this waffle that I'm doing is that Stonehouse Brewery produced a double IPA that I could buy for two pound, two pound 50, £3.50 sitting in somewhere at a lower ABV than this that but actually had more flavour, more body to it. So I've got to say, I when I had done this order, I try and get different breweries to try and sort of broaden the horizon rather than stick to favourites. I try and I try and spread me reviews out to a lot of breweries, but I've got to say on this occasion. And like I say, I think I reviewed this normal IPA naughty luggage. That is very, very disappointing. Nothing wrong with it, but for what it should be and for what I paid of it, I'm very disappointed. So there you go. Waffled on for way too long in this one, 12 minutes. Neon Raptor, very naughty luggage, double IPA, 8.2%. Would I recommend it? No, I wouldn't. It's a nice enough beer but there are way better double APAs out there. So uh, if you've had this beer before, let me know what you think. Feel free to comment. Thank you all for watching. I'm going to shut up now because I went on a bit of a rant. Take care and I'll see you on another one. Cheers.